Okay guys, so for our next problem, uh, we will now discuss the cantilever method. So for this problem, we need to determine the reaction at the base of the column using the cantilever method. So at joint I, you have here an 8 kips which is going or acting to the right. And below that, 12 feet below that is a another force which is 10 kips which is going to the right also. And given yung area ng bawat column. So for IE, that is 10 inches squared. For JF, that is 8 inches squared. KG is 6 inches squared. And for LH, that is 10 inches squared. So yung mga nasa babang column nila is the same cross-sectional area with respect dun sa area ng nasa ibabaw nila. Okay? So gaya ng portal method, dito mag tayo ng dalawang assumption. So for assumption number one, so please take note of this. So, there is a point of inflection at the midpoint of all its members. So, kagaya nung sa portal method. So, for number two, the intensity of actual stress in each column story is proportional to the horizontal distance of that column from the center of gravity of all columns of the story under consideration. So, for this, may kinalaman kasi yung cross-sectional area ng bawat column. So, with this, ilolocate kasi natin kung nasaan yung center of gravity nung column o yung system of column ng ating isang story. So, ang principle nito, parang kumukuha lang ng centroid. Okay? So, mas maunawaan nyo yan kapag ginawa natin yung first step. So, agaya doon sa portal method natin, there are several steps na kailangan nyo lang sundin para masolve yung mga unknowns. So, ito naman is parang ano lang, equilibrium. Ano? Yung concept ng equilibrium. Okay, so for number one. So, again, take note of this step number one. So for number one, so determining the center of gravity of the columns, assuming that the columns have the same cross-sectional area. But since this is different cross-sectional area, so meron lang tayong konting considerations na gagawin. Okay, so i-drawin ko muna yung, ano, yung second story natin. Uh, and balikan ko kayo. Okay, so first, we will consider the second story. So I use section one. So again, coming from the assumption number one, so, sabi nga doon, the point of reflection at the midpoint of all its member. So, on section 1, hinati ko siya doon sa gitna ng column niya. And then, I isolate the upper portion and ito yung nakikita mo doon. Okay? So, knowing that, so, paano ba natin malalocate yung center of gravity ng column? I will assume na yung center of gravity niya is nandito sa point na to. So, let's just assume, okay? So, let's just say that this distance is distance x. So to know that distance x, so apply natin yung pagkuha ng center of gravity. So the first thing that we need to do is to determine the total area of these four columns. So to get the total area, so just take the summation of all areas of each column. So that is 10 plus a plus 6 and then plus 10. So that is equivalent to, so 8 plus 6, 14, 10, 10. So that is equals to 34 inches squared. After getting the total area, so ang gawin nating reference point is this leftmost part. Kasi nandiyan yung distance x natin. So the equation will be 80 or 34 multiplied by x, itong anong, is equals to unahin natin yung unang area. So that is 10 multiplied by 0 kasi nakalapat siya doon sa reference point natin which is this leftmost part or itong point i na to. So 10 times 0 plus 8. And then multiply by this distance, so given this our diagram, that is equivalent to 20 feet. And then 6, so plus 6, multiply by the distance of, so 20 plus 15, or that is 35. And then plus 10, times the distance of, so 20 plus 15 plus 25, so this is 35. Calculate natin, alam naman natin tayo mahina sa simple addition. So that is equivalent to 60. Or the x is equals lang saan. So, hindi ko na ipipindutin to since this is already 0. So, 8 times 20 plus 6 times 35 plus 10 times 60 divided by 34. So, the distance x is equals to 28.5294. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, isunod na agad natin yung step number 2. So, for step number 2, we need to compute the actual forces using the assumption 2. So, sabi nga sa assumption 2, ulitin ko lang ulit, the intensity of actual stress in each column story is proportional to the horizontal distances of that column from the center of gravity of all columns of the story under consideration. So, ito yung ibig sabihin niya dun. Okay. So, this 8 kips, it will produce, if you're going to take moment dito sa center of gravity ng mga column, 
yan ay magproproduce ng clockwise moment. So, ang role ng actual force mo is to counteract that act, that eight tips na clockwise moment. So, para magawa yun, ano ba ang kailangan natin gawin? Paano mo ba i-assume yung direction ng mga actual forces sa bawat column? So, ilatag lang natin yung mga forces dito. Ah. So, para makapag-produce, di ba ito, clockwise? Para makapag-produce ng counterclockwise yan, ito, itong actual force mo dito, dapat, with respect dito sa center of gravity na to, dapat ang ikot niya is pa-counterclockwise. So, itong actual force mo dito, or the actual force for IE, so let's just name that as IE, okay? And then, ito, so dapat pababa din, okay? So, that is the actual force for JF, and the next, ito, so since nandito na siya sa isang side, so dapat pataas siya para makapag-produce ng counterclockwise moment. A, K, G, and so as for this, A, L, H. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dyan, para mas madali lang din, gawa tayo ng force diagram. Kasi base sa force diagram na to, gagawa tayo ng similar triangle. Kasi ang gagawin natin, i-relate natin yung uh, isang actual force with respect do sa isang actual force para mangyari, uh, isang anong lang yung mahanap natin. Ano? So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ko dito? So, ito pababa. So, pababa yan. And then, ito pataas. And ito yung kanyang point of inflection. Dito sila magsisiro dapat. Ayan. Okay? So, this is your A, I, E. And then, ito. This is your A, J, F. This one is your A, K, G. And then, this one is your A, L, H. Okay? So, itong distance na to, di ba ito is x? Ito is 28.5294. And then, itong distance na to, so that will be x minus 20. Okay? And then, itong distance na to, so makompute mo yan as 60 minus the x bar. Ano? So, 60 minus ito, x, makukuha mo yan. And then, ito. So, similar triangle lang yan. Okay, so saan ba manggagaling yung isang equation? Yung, equa yung isang equation will be coming from this. Ano? So, moment ka dito para ma-produce mo yung equation na yan. So, when we take summation of moment to the center of gravity niya, assuming counterclockwise moment as positive moment at the center of gravity equals to zero. So, let's start with AIE. So, AIE multiply by the distance x na 28.5294. And then, AJF, so plus AJF, multiplied by the distance of 28.5294. Ang gawin ko na lang guys ha, para maikli lang doon sa ano natin. So, multiply natin ng X, and then ito, store natin to the function of X. So, X minus 20. And then, plus uh, AKG times 16 minus x and then minus 25 then ibaba ko na lang dito so plus ALH and then multiply by 60 minus x so that will be equals to 8 multiply so kalahati nga lang nung iyong height ng column so or that is 12 over 2 or that is equals to 8, 6 okay? so yung sunod ay kunin natin using the ratio and proportion. So, by ratio and proportion or by RNP, ang mangyayari yan, so yung IE mo, AIE over so 28.5294 so that is equals to AJF over so X so parang ito lang din o, no? kopya na lang natin to so yeah, X minus 20 so that is equals to AKG over 60 minus x minus 25 so that is equals to ALH over 60 minus x Okay, so since magkakaiba yung area ng bawat column so somehow that area will affect the actual force in each column So ito uh, yung AIE i-relate din natin sa corresponding na value ng kanyang area So i-divide lang din natin ito ng area niya or over 10 and then for JF so over 8 and then ito over 6 and then ito over 10 okay so the equation if we're going to solve for AIE so si AJF can be written as 
So, equal siya sa AIE multiplied by 8. So, tataas yung 8 times x minus 20 over x. And then, baba si 10. Okay? So, ganun din yung gagawin mo kay AKG. So, si AKG, so that can be written as uh, AIE and then multiply by 6 and then times 16 minus 25 minus x over 10 or x times 10. And for ALH, so that can be written as AIE. So multiply by 10 times 16 minus x and then over x times 10. Itong mga value to, isasubstitute nyo lang sa una equation natin kapag nagbomit tayo sa center of gravity. So, para ang mapalabas natin is yung value niya in terms of AIE. Okay? So, sa si AJF, substitute mo ito. Sa si AKG, dito. And for ALH, ito. So, with that, mapapalabas natin yung value ng AIE. So, pindutin lang natin sa RQ. So, that is X. So, plus AJF. So, 8. So, X minus 20 divided by 10x. So, ito, naka-squared. Okay? Plus, uh, nasa na tayo, AGF. So, 6 times 16 minus 5 minus x squared divided by 10 divided by x. And then, plus 10 times 60 minus x squared divided by 10 divided by x. Okay? So, inverse lang natin to. And then, times 8 times 6. Okay, so the value for uh, AIE, so that will be 0 0.7254. Uh, 7255. Keeps. So, with that, substitute lang dito. So, AJF, so that will be equals lang sa alpha natin. So, A times A times X minus 20 divided by 10 divided by X. So, parang mas matrabaho yata ito, no? Yung ating uh, quantity per method, 135. So, AKG. So, that is equals lang sa pa. So, this is 6. So, ito magiging 16 minus 25 minus X. So that is 0 0.09 Kips And for ALH So that is so This is 10 16 minus X Or that is 0 0.8002 0 0.8002 Kips Okay, so that is the answer for the actual force So ang sunod, doon naman tayo sa first story Same process lang din so, balikan ko ulit kayo. Drawin ko muna yung kanyang free body diagram. Okay. So, considering the first story. So, this time, ang i-consider natin is yung section 2. Or at the mid-height of the first story. So, that is 8. 8. So, bakit po ito ay 16. 6. Ayan. So, with that, oh, since pareho lang din naman sila ng area, nung column sa taas at baba, so, the center of gravity of that, is same as 28.5294. So, kumuha na ako dito ng force diagram and with that, gagamitin natin siya for the similar triangle. But before that, establish muna natin yung equation for the moment produced by this uh, external load and this actual load for the column. So, considering counterclockwise moment as positive, we will take summation ng moment do sa center of gravity ng mga column. So, that is equal to zero. So, AEA multiplied by the distance of x and then plus AFB times yung distance, so that is x minus 20, sinulat ko na dito. And then ACG, so plus ACG, multiply by this distance, or that is 60 minus 25 minus x, and then plus AHD times the distance of 60 minus x. So that is equals to 8, so times this distance, or that is equals to 20, plus yung 10 kips multiplied by the distance of 8. 
So this will be our equation 1. So parang ganun ganun din yung gagawin mo. So gagawa ka ng uh, equation with respect to the ratio and proportion produced by the forces. So kukuha tayo ng equation in, with respect to 1 actual force. So ang gumitin na lang natin is yung nasa dulo din or AEA. So AEA over X so that is equals lang sa A at B. So again, i-divide mo siya ng area ha? kasi magkakaiba nga yung area niya. So ito guys is naka-divide pa ng 10. So ibaba ko na lang. Lagay ko dito sa ilalim. Okay? AEA over 10 over yung distance X. And then A at B over yung area at B which is 8 multiply by the distance of x minus 20. So that is equals sa ACG over yung area niya, which is 6, times 60 minus 25 minus x. That is equals to AHD over uh, 10 times the distance of 60 minus x. So if you're going to solve for AEA with respect to AFB, so AFB can be written as cross multiplication mo lang. So that is AEA and then times 8 and then times x minus 20 over 10 x. Okay? And for AFB ah, sorry. Okay na pala tayo doon. So ACG so that equals to AEA times 6 and then times 60 minus 25 minus x all over 10 x. And last will be for AHD. So that is equals lang sa AEA times 10 and then times 60 minus X over 10X. Okay? So again, ito mga values na to. Substitute nyo dito sa equation na to. Ito, para dito na ito, para dito. And then with that, masosolve natin yung value ng AEA. So pindutin lang natin. So again, X so plus FB. So ito nga, so A times x minus 20 squared divided by 10 oh kalang ha gulo 8x divided by 10x and then plus acg so plus 6 times 60 minus 25 minus x squared so divided by 10x and then plus AHD or that is plus 10 times 60 minus x squared divided by 10 divided by x okay so inverse lang natin to times 8 times 20 plus 10 times 8 okay so the value of your AEA is 3.6273 Check it out. Okay, so tama naman. And then again, since meron na tayong AEA, mahanap na natin yung tatlong actual forces. So substitute nyo lang siya dito. So store lang natin. Alpha. So alpha times 8 times x minus 20 divided by 10 divided by x. So that is 0 0.86 0.8676 So ACG mo So ito, pautan lang ng 6 Then, ito is 60 minus 25 Minus X So 0 0.4936 And for HD That is 4.0012 4.0012 So, since meron tayong mga actual forces So, the next step in sa ating uh, notes So, after computing for the actual force uh, We can now solve for the gear there shear So, to solve for the gear there shear We need to consider the FBD of each joint Okay guys, so gagawin ko lang siya ng another figure, drawing ng FBD ng bawat joint para masolve yung gear there shear. So again, ipos ko na yung video para hindi maubos yung oras natin. Para mabawasan pala. Okay. okay guys, so 
Ito nga, na-drawing ko na yung kanyang uh, free body diagram So nilatag ko lang dito yung mga actual forces So ganun lang din uh, If dito pa baba, kapag kinonsider mo sa joint E Yung actual force for IE magiging pataas So balik tara lang ulit ha Para maging equilibrium siya Okay, so ang gagawin natin sunod Is isosolve natin yung kanya mga uh, Girder shear So by considering the FBD diagram for each joint So hindi na natin i-drawing isa-isa ha So, papagapangin mo lang dito I-analyze mo lang yung figure So, inahan natin dito sa joint I So, di ba kung ito'y pababa So, dapat yung girder shear mo dito is pataas So, kapag nagsummation ko ng forces vertical Ano yung magiging value ng uh, uh, girder shear mo dito So, let's just say that this is Girder shear So, shear for IJ okay? So, kung pataas dito Dapat dito magiging pababa okay? So, what will be the value of that? So, di ba 0.7255 lang din So, dito pababa At ito pataas Kita ba? Ayan. So, para maging uh, equilibrium, so 0.7255 gips. Okay, next. So, dito parehong pababa. Ano? So, obviously, this is upward. And then, to get the value of this uh, shear JK, so just take the sum of these two. Or that is 0.7255 plus 0.1735. So, that is 0.899. Kips. And then kung pataas dito, yung shear JK mo dito is magiging pababa with the same value. So kung pababa to na 0.899, and then ito pataas 0.0987, so kulang na kulang to. So dapat ito magiging pataas. So to get the value of this uh, shear KL, so pag subtract mo lang yung dalawa. So 0.899 minus 0.0987, or that is 0.8003. 0.8003. So, kung pataas dito, magiging pababa lang din siya dito. Okay, so guys, so meron kang counting discrepancy, but that is four decimal places. So, napakaliit nun, or this is also just equal with each other. So, maling sa rounding off lang nagkaroon ng difference. Okay? So, ganun lang din yung gagawin mo sa baba. So, now, this is considering the joint E. So, meron ka dito dalawang force. So, meron kang pababa na 3.6273, and meron ka dito pataas na 0.7255. So, dapat, yung uh, shearing force mo dito is pataas din kasi napakalaki nito. So, the shear EF, so that is just the difference between 3.6273 minus ito. Okay? So, kung pataas dyan, magiging pababa dito. So, tingnan lang natin yung value. 3.6273 minus 0.7255. That is 2.9018. Okay? So, next, we will consider joint F. So, meron kang dalawa pababa na 2.9 at saka 0.8. So, ang pataas mo lang yung 0.1735. So, dapat ito, tulungan niya yung 0.1735 para ma-counteract itong dalawang pababang to. So, ito is magiging pataas and then dito, pababa siya dapat. So, the value of shear FG, so, yan equals lang sa 2.9018 plus 0.8676 and then minus 0.1735. Or that is equivalent to 3.5959. Okay? So, meron kang pababa na 3.59 na 0.09 and then meron ang pataas so obviously ito ay pataas and then dito pababa ka dapat so this will be the value of your shear KL so pababa so plus 0.0987 and then minus 0.4936 so the answer is 3.201 and last para ma-check natin kung tama so dapat kapag pinag-add natin itong dalawa halos malapit dito yung sagot so plus 0.8002 So 4.0012 So pareho lang sila ano So therefore, 0 siya Therefore, the answer is correct So we're done with this step So ano ba yung sunod natin gagawin? After compute Take note of this After girder shear So step number 4 Compute the girder moment So ito parang yung supportal method lang ha So to solve for the girder moment So the girder moment is equal to the girder shear Multiplied by one half of the girder length So ganun lang ulit Lagyan ko lang dito ng uh, boundary. So, to solve for the girder moment, so, isulat lang ulit natin yung equation. Girder moment is equals lang sa girder shear. Girder shear. Ginasolve natin dito sa step na to. And then, multiply by one half of the girder length. Okay? So, kapareho-kapareho lang ginawa natin sa portal, di ba? So, kailangan lang natin yung length nito. Taas pa lang dito. 
Ayan. So, ito yung mga gear door lightning 2015 and 25. Okay, so simulan natin sa second story. So, second story. Isulat lang natin yung mga gear door doon. So, gear door moment of IJ. So, gear door moment ni JK and gear door moment ni KL. So, equals lang siya sa gear door shear or 0 point 7255 multiplied by half of the length. So, wala natin ng 20 or 20 over 2. Next, for the JK, so that is 0 0.899 multiplied by 15 over 2. And then, for KL, so that is 0 0.8003 multiplied by 25 over 2. Okay, so makukumpit natin yung gear down moment niya. So, 0 0.7255 times 10. Kinalcute talaga. 7.255. So, this is keeps fit. Okay? The unit. Then, 0 0.899 times 15 divided by 2. So, this is 6.7425. Keeps fit. And, para kay KL, 0 0.8003 times 10.5 divided by 2. Or, that is 10.0038 keeps fit. Next will be for the first story. So for the first story, ganun lang din guys. Gear there shear is multiplied by one half of the gear there length to get the gear there moment. So ano ba yung mga gear there natin for first story? So this, that is GM, EF. And then this is GM, uh, FG. And then this one is GM, GH. Okay guys, so EF, so 2.9. 018. So, copy mo lang to. Since pareho lang naman sila ng length. And next is 3.5959 times 15 over 2. And last will be 3.201 times uh, 25 over 2. So, again, pindutin lang natin ulit. So, 2.9018 times 10. Cut <laughs> you ulit. 29.018 so keeps fit and 3.5959 times 15 divided by 2 so that is 26.9693 keeps fit and next will be 3.201 times 25 divided by 2 or that is 40.0125 keeps fit ok so we're done computing for the girder shear so ano yung sunod nating step so basahin ko lang ulit dito sa aking notes so next will be for the column moment. So ang sabi dyan, the column moment, so to find the column moment for any joint, so the sum of the column moment is equal to the sum of the girder moment. So ayun, kapareho lang ulit nung sa portal method. So, at any joint daw, at any joint, at any joint, girder moment is equal lang sa column moment. Okay, so, unahin natin yung joint I. So, sa joint I, ito ang ating, uh, ano nga hinahanap dito? Yung column moment. So, yung column moment mo, so, considering at second story. So, column moment, so, ang kailangan natin mahanap dito is si IE. So, column moment for IE, so that it's equal, so, ilan, ano lang ba yung girder dito? Yung IG. So, gear there moment IJ. So, that is equal to gear there moment IJ. Or that is 7.255 kips feet. Next, will be for joint J. So, at joint J. Sige, sulat natin natin. So, at joint I. So, at joint J. So, at joint J, ang column mo is si JF. So, column moment ni JF. So, that is equals lang. So, dalawang gear there natin guys dito. Si IJ and si JK. So that is the sum of 7.255 Diretso na lang guys Plus 6.7425 So that is equivalent to 7.255 plus 6.7425 So 13.9975 Keeps fit Okay, next uh, Will be for joint K So at joint K So the column moment KG so, that is equivalent lang sa uh, JK, 6.7425, and then plus KL, na 10.0038, and 
So that is equals uh, 6.7425 plus 10.0038. So that is equals to 16.7463 kips feet. Okay, so we're done with the second story. So at first story na tayo. So para sa mga joint na to. So unahin natin yung joint E. So at joint E, so what are the columns? So we have column IE. Then plus, we have EA, called the moment EA. That is equals lang sa EF, girder moment EF. So, sinulat ko muna yung una na, para at least nakasabay tayo. So, call the moment IE, so just take the difference, transpose mo lang sa kabila. So, girder moment EF na 29.018, so minus EA na 7.255. For that is equal to 21.763 kips fit. Okay, next joint. So we will have at joint F. So at joint F, ano ba yung ating mga column, uh, column doon? So we have column moment FB plus the column moment for GF, which is 13.9975. So equals to the girder moment of EF, 29.018. And then minus FG na 26. So plus pala, sorry. 26.9693. Or the column moment FB is equals lang sa 29.018 plus 26.9693 minus 13.9975. So that is 41.9898. So keeps fit. So next will be for at joint uh, G. So, joint G, ano ba ang ating mga column? So, we have column moment GC and then plus column moment ni KG. So, nasaan ba si KG? Ito. 16.7463 And parang may nakalimutan akong isa dito. Ha! <sighs> Kulang pa pala ako guys ng isang column moment dito. Ano? So, balikan lang natin yung second story. Wala pa tayong L. So, joint L, balik ulit tayo dito. So, the column moment for LH, so that is equals lang sa girder moment KL. So, that is 10.0038 keeps fit. Okay? So, balik ulit tayo dito. Sorry for that. Nasaan si KG? Tama ba? Okay. So yung process guys, no, madali lang naman Kaso mahaba lang talaga And please watch out sa mga values Baka maduling, magkapalit-palit na sagot Wala din So FG 26.9693 And GH So plus 40.0125 So column moment GC 6.9693 Plus 40.0125 Minus 16.7463 So that is 50.2355 Hips feet And last will be for joint H So sulat ko na lang dito So at joint H So the calling moment For HD Plus HL Ito Or LH So plus 10 0.0038 then equals lang siya sa GH na 40.0125 or the column moment HD is equal sa 40.0125 minus 10.0038 or that is 30.0087 keeps feet alright so since nasolve na natin lahat ng mga column moment so sa malamang laman yung gear there ah column shear na yung sunat dito So parang ganito lang din oh. I consider mo lang yung half ng height ng column. Ayun, so tama. So after the column moment, so compute the column shear. So sabi dito, take note of this, the column shear is equal to the column moment divided by one half of the length of the column. So formula base lang ulit. So the column shear So that is equals to the column moment, column moment divided by one half of the height 
of column. So, itong, ito yung i-consider natin. Okay? Kita ba? Ito. Ayan. Itong dalawang to. So, again, anahin natin yung second story. Okay? Second story, column. So, ano bang designation ko? Is shear. V na lang din. Shear for IE. So, that is equals to the column moment ng IE na 21.763. And then, divided by one half of the column height. So, 12 over 2 or 6. So, not si shear for JF. So, that is 13.9975 divided by 6 then. So, KG. The shear for KG. So, that is equals sa uh, 16.7463 divided by 6. And shear for LH. So, that is 10 point Kita pa ba dito? Ayan. So, 10.0038 divided by 6. So, pindutin lang muna natin, ha? 21.763 divided by... Uh, 763 nga, divided by 6. So, this is 3.6272. Then, yung isa. So, 13.9975 divided by 6. 2.3329 to so 16.7463 divided by 6 2.7911 and 10.0038 divided by 6 so 1.6673 okay so for the first story so ano ba yan? EA but dito ay ipa rin Ko lang to, ah. A. So, shear for AE So that is 21.763 Divided by half of the column height So ito po ay 16 or over 8 Divide ito nga kasi Half of the column height so Then shear for FB So that is 41.98 uh, 98 Over 8 for GC, shear GC is equals to 50.2355 divided by 8 and for HD so that is 30.0087 divided by 8 okay so 21.763 divided by 8 so that is 2.7204 kips so 41.9898 divided by 8 so that is 5.2487 kips and 50.2355 divided 8 so that is 62794 kips and last that is 30.0087 divided by 8 or that is 3.751 kips okay so after that guys i uh, ano nyo lang to ilalatag nyo lang ulit dito ano and then uh, same step so ang mangyayari lang ay parang ganito so paano ba yan so ilalagay nyo lang dito yung mga shading dito sa column na to eto nga, ito lang naman yung kailangan dyan eto so di ba magkakaroon dito ng column shear so yon yung makapag-produce ng moment again, ito is half the height lang ng iyong column which is 8 so i-multiply mo lang yon para makuha mo yung mga reaction sa support na to. So, paita lang natin kung paano yun. Mag-sample ako ng isa and then kayo na yung bahala doon sa iba. Ano? So, ito naman is parang ano lang din yung portal. Ginawa natin sa portal. Okay. So, ito yung sinasabi ko. So, nilagay ko lang dito yung uh, column shear and yung uh, actual force sa column. So, ito yung kakailangan natin para makuha yung reaction dito sa bawat support. So, gawa ko ng isa ha? kasi yung iba naman ganun lang din yung gagawin nyo. So, parang portal lang din. So, kung ito pataas dito, so dapat yung reaction mo dito o yung RAY mo o the Y component of the reaction. So, that is equals lang dito. So, 3.6273. So, kung pataas dito, dapat dito pa baba. And then, ito, since uh, 
pakaliwa siya. Ah, sorry, pakanan siya. So, dapat dito, yung RAX is pakaliwa. So, that is 2.7204. Okay? So, kung magmo-moment ka dito sa point A, ito kasing uh, 2.7204 mo, mag-produce ng clockwise moment. So, para ma-counteract yung clockwise moment na yan, so, dapat ito is pa-counterclockwise. So, that is moment A. And to solve for moment A, so that is equals lang sa 2.7204 and then multiply by the mid height. Kasi nga, lagi nating assumption is the point of inflection ng bawat structural member na column and yung girder is lagi lang doon sa gitna ng bawat member. Ano? So, times 8 or the moment A is equals lang sa so ito, naka-tips. So, 2, 2.7204 times 8. Then, 21.7632 keeps fit. Okay, so ganun lang din yung gagawin sa iba. So, guys, that ends our discussion. So, gaya nung sabi ko sa unang video, may share ako sa inyo isa pang method ng pagka-compute ng uh, frame. But, ano na lang siya, uh, brief discussion, ituturo ko na lang step by step, ipapakita ko yung gagawin, and hindi na natin siya isasama sa exam. Kasi guys, sa totoo lang, uh, yun yung pinaka-complicated na procedure. Sa so, ituturo ko na lang sa inyo para at least kapag gumawa kayo ng thesis, alam niyo yung gagawin kapag factor method yung nire-require na design method. Okay? So, that ends our video for this topic. So, if you like the discussion or if you have some comment or suggestion, please comment it on the section, comment section below. And sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and huwag kayo may hiyang i-share and panoorin niyo yung mga ads natin. <laughs> so, yun lang. Salamat. And thank you.